Hi guys, a very warm welcome to Motorhoming Adventures. Motorhoming Adventures. Absolutely, this is our new channel and the old one being? It was, it was offshore and onshore adventures. But here we're going to bring you all things motorhoming, the UK, Europe, further afield, who knows? Absolutely. And we'll also be bringing across some of our original films that are on our old channel or motorhoming films of course and we'll be bringing them on to this channel so you don't miss out absolutely yeah so stay tuned all things motorhoming technical trips travels you name it it's great to have you along yeah absolutely and if you enjoy the channel please do subscribe oh, of course please do subscribe and of course the odd like is good too thank you we are now not far from Ipswich soon to be looking around our new motorhome 260 miles from Tenby so far. And 320 something miles later ish, Marquee Motorhomes. Let's go have a look. Marquis Yard. I'm wandering down to see if we can find the K Yacht 79 that we've come uh, all these miles to see. Uh, Nicky's, I think, already found it. It's down here somewhere. And here it is, the K Yacht 79. Wow. Not quite the same as a Mary Fisher 895. May not float as well as a Mary Fisher 895 offshore. But I suspect. Oh, and Nikki's already, already found her way in. Anybody who think she was looking forward to her visit today. <clears throat> so this is the A-Class motorhome, 7.44 meters long. And looking forward to having a look around it. And they've also said we could pop out for a drive in it as well, which would be nice. Right, let's go and have a look inside. All looking very plastic covered. Very plastic covered. Enjoying your exploration in here, Nikki? I am, did yes. I bet yeah. you are, yeah. Yes. I bet you are. The first visit into no oh, Kazi. Yes. Wow. Well, and we won't do obviously a, a detailed look through the van on this occasion, but because we've got far too many things to look at, far too many things to learn about. But suffice to say, that is the first time that you guys will have been in the motorhome, potentially the motorhome of the next chapter of offshore and now offshore and onshore adventures. And um, as I said, as we've said previously, we're obviously looking forward to bringing you some of our trips and travels and detail of this uh, potential motorhome if we go ahead and uh, put a deposit down today. But also, of course, we're um, very much looking forward to bringing you some more Mary Fisher walkthroughs as well and one or two other uh, things that we have planned for the channel. <music>
Best Leisure Troop Tewkesbury. Travelled all the way from Tenby this morning on a lovely sunnier and sunnier as we got to Tewkesbury. And here, here she is. Are you excited, Nikki? Just a tiny bit, tiny bit. Yes, thought you might be. And here she is. Having a last bit of last bit of power from the hookup. Well, several weeks in the planning. But boy, has it been worth it. Haven't done the handover sheet yet. Haven't had the handover. Got to go and do all that. Lots of faffing around. Lots of admin, lots of signatures. But we're nearly at the time where we're going to be off and away in a resi. Resi incidentally because this lady over here when I met her years ago in the 80s, 1980s that is, not 1880s, 1980s, had a Polish surname of Reznacek. So she became Rezi then, and forevermore has been Rezi. Now immortalised on the van. Right, going to go and do some admin now. We'll be back with you soon. So let's have our first look inside. Fantastic. Oh, I'll take your shoes off. Be a good boy. Smelling very, very new. And looking amazing inside. Bit of lighting. LEDs there. A bit more light. Dimmable LEDs, which we'll explore properly when we get back, no doubt, with loads of exploring to do. Extractor under that, one induction. Yeah, place to store the sink cover. Then shower unit, put a light on the sink. As nice as I remember it. Lots of unwrapping to do. Little ladder. Oh yeah, loads of unwrapping. Light switching up here. Oh yeah, a bit more light. Wow, plenty of storage, plenty indeed. Mm 
and back through. And what do you think, Nikki? Well, <laughs> I, for the first time in my married life, I've lost for words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you said that, didn't you, down the aisle about? Mm. Well, I can't remember. I no. was um, <laughs> unconscious. <laughs> About 34 years ago, wasn't it? It was. You remember it like it was yesterday. Yeah, you were definitely lost for words then. It's like, what am I doing? Well, so there's, um, that was a quick scout. Oh yes, the clip up there. We'll have a look at that later. Auto box, nine speed auto. Nice, leisurely driving. Right, well that was the first look inside since we last saw it in Ipswich. They've put the carpets in for us, which is lovely, makes it really does finish that nicely. If you remember back to when I did that first uh, clip from Ipswich, I think I got some shots of the floor there, but certainly a big difference with the carpeting in. Feels very cosy. Albeit at the moment, it's rather warm in here because the panel is telling us that it's about 37 degrees in here and it's feeling all of that in sunny Tewkesbury today. Oh yeah, very nice too. Right, I think we better go in and sign a bit more paper, shall we? Yes. See you guys soon. Very exciting, we've uh, picked up our uh, Mobile Veta Veta home from the dealer in Tewkesbury and they we're now making our way back home and it's, it's a beautiful day and we're having a fantastic ride in, say hello Bob, our motorhome. It's fun! It's fun and we've still got the rapid on, that's how sort of uh, newish it still feels so yeah we're still to put our bits and pieces in it but um, yeah we're really enjoying the trip. It's home. Christmas! It's fantastic. And approaching, well not far off, from the uh, fabulous Welsh border. And uh, of course, Brezzy's namesake has to have Hello. a trundle along. <laughs> Rez driving Rezzy. Oh, so nice to drive. Absolutely. Lovely. different to the other resi, the water version that is. Of course for those of you who might be just picking up this film for the first time, the previous resi was actually a floating one. This however will not be very good at floating but by all means do check out some of our earlier films to see the floating version of resi. Now moved on and this version is going to be a fabulous amount of fun. We've got a stack of boxes, manuals, God knows what, hiding. Those fabulous people at Tewkesbury Marquis gave us, a, uh, gave us an umbrella, a free umbrella. They've obviously perhaps heard about some of the Welsh Pembrokeshire weather. I had to reassure them that it's always sunny in Pembrokeshire. Always. So we've definitely got some evening reading to do as we try and work out how everything functions. Which hopefully it does. Fingers crossed. And we are back in Wales, en route to the fabulous Pembrokeshire coast and our fabulous hometown of Tenby. But these things are sent to try us, 
<laughs> a little bit of cross-border traffic. And the first sign of some slightly larger bumps in the landscape as we are uh, coming towards uh, Abergavenny and the Brackens. Still wending our way towards Tenby. Happy over there, Rosie? Yes, indeed. Oh, I thought you might be, yes. I thought you might be. On a scale of 1 to 10, how's your day been? 11. 11, right, that's fairly conservative. I'll go for a 12, I think. So, 7 pm, roughly, arrival, about another 85 miles to go. And I bet what I bet I know what you might be doing when we get back. I shall be. You might be. Pushing things in the motorhome. Cupboards and shelves and Bits. drawers and. Oh, I'll be gosh. making home. Oh, endless, endless. You'll be there till midnight. I know. Still 85 miles to go. Well, what a day that was. And in terms of a 1 to 10, I think that's probably a good 10, do you think? Oh, I think so, at least. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, well, it's now, as you can probably see by the skylights, it's now dark. Um, we are still pottering about and unwrapping things and messing around, as you do. A stack of tinkering and probably a fair bit more still Well, I come. think I think it's top of the class in terms of tinkering, to be fair. <laughs> I've managed to sort out all my plates and my oh, cutlery, my and I just love making, tinkering. Tinkering, Duh. making home in the in the uh, motorhome. What more could you want? Well, that's very true. Um, so that was the uh, that was collection day. An amazing day, thanks to Carol and Steve, of course, for ferrying us down to Tewkesbury. Uh, very much appreciated. Uh, I'd also like to send out a very big thank you to Dean at uh, Marquis at Tewkesbury. Uh, I have to say the service we've had from Marquis, uh, both in Ipswich, where we went to see the van, and then on to uh, Tewkesbury, has been absolutely fantastic. The fastest replies to emails I think I've ever had. Um, from Dean in uh, Tewkesbury, so many thanks for that, Dean. Yes, thank you, Dean. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So if you are joining us for the first time, then please uh, do subscribe to our channel. Um, do, of course, give us a like, and we love to get your comments about our films and our expeditions and our adventures. So stick some comments below. And, of course, if you want to know anything more about this uh, mobile Vetter, um, it's a K-Yacht Technoline 79. If you want to know any more about that, then obviously uh, drop a question in the comments below as well and we will um, try and answer them and or show you with the wonders of YouTube. And thank you to you all for uh, watching our first motorhome film. Um, we very much hope to have you along on our adventures as we uh, explore A, the motorhome and B, of course, the fabulous UK and beyond. But um, thanks very much for being with us and we will see you again very soon. Bye guys. Bye. Bye.